Welcome back to Second Floor Basement, your go-to source for anime summaries and recaps. Hit subscribe and join the legion of anime aficionados and otakus riding the wave. Get ready for a wild ride with Black Summoner. As Kelvin, a young man accidentally killed by a deity, agrees to be reincarnated in a new world, retaining only his name and choosing his skills. He awakens as a summoner mage, with the goddess of reincarnation, Melfina, serving as an interactive game menu. In the town of Parth, he discreetly joins the Adventurer's Guild, concealing his rare summoner skill. Kelvin's first quest involves slaying slimes, leading him to tame and name a slime, Clotho, significantly boosting its strength. He learns his summoner class is rank S, the highest level, promising immense power as he levels up. Disturbed by the prevalence of slavery, Kelvin tries to ignore it and rents a room for the night. Promoted to E rank, Kelvin encounters D rank adventurer Cashel, who tries to humiliate him. Cashel's true murderous nature is revealed through Kelvin's appraisal skill. Kelvin challenges Cashel and his criminal party, defeating them with the help of Clotho, now an evolved slime Glutonia. After uncovering and revealing Cashel's crimes, Kelvin is promoted directly to be rank. He then meets the Black Ghost Knight, Gerard, who shares his tragic backstory, leading to his joining Kelvin's team. Guildmaster Leo acknowledges Kelvin's otherworldly origins and his summoner skill. Leo tasks Kelvin with fighting monsters under the Demon Lord's influence, instead of joining the Empire's heroes. Kelvin buys and frees Ethel, a cursed half-elf slave, breaking her curse and training her. Their relationship grows as they navigate this new partnership. Ethel quickly develops into a formidable archer, her skills influenced by her past curse. Kelvin's group faces and rebuffs Prince Tabura's arrogant advances towards Ethel and Guild Secretary Angie. Meanwhile, Melfina delivers a prophecy to the Oracle, advising the heroes to avoid Parth. Ethel confesses her love for Kelvin, who struggles with his feelings due to her former slave status. A new mission pits Kelvin against a sealed demon, revealing his addiction to battle. Victor, the guardian demon, is weakened and eventually defeated by Kelvin's team. In his last moments, Victor reveals his true intentions and asks Kelvin to care for Sarah, which he agrees to. Gerard evolves into an abyssal knight commander. Kelvin's successful mission leads to his promotion to a rank, followed by a celebratory event organized by Angie. Kelvin equips Sarah with armor made from Victor's remains and forges a new sword for Gerard. Craving rice, the team heads to Torridge, where Kelvin aids in exposing a noble involved in the slave trade. Kelvin's quick thinking uses the presence of the four heroes in town to bring the noble to justice. Kelvin challenges the four heroes to a duel, testing their skills and revealing their shortcomings. He uses his new skill eater gloves to borrow and utilize their unique skills, eventually defeating them. Kelvin uses this opportunity to guide and improve the hero's abilities, building a rapport with them. Kelvin further trains the heroes against the sea creature, emphasizing their need for improvement. After defeating a dungeon boss dragon, Kelvin receives a unique reward from Queen Tsubaki and turns down her job offer. Back in Parth, he buys a house and hires former slaves as his staff. Melfina bestows a life-saving ability on Kelvin and permits him to summon a hero from Japan. He summons Ryo, a terminally ill girl, giving her a new life and identity in his world. Ryo, now Ryan, joins Kelvin's party, grateful for her second chance. Kelvin focuses on safely leveling up his party members. He crafts new weapons and confronts assassins seeking revenge for his previous actions. The political scene intensifies with potential war brewing between neighboring kingdoms due to Kelvin's actions. Kelvin is tasked with a rank S monster hunt to aid the Beast King of Gaon. In the process, he uncovers connections between Ethel's past and the elven village they're protecting. The encounter with General Clive showcases Kelvin's growing power and battle enthusiasm.
Kelvin faces off against Clive, learning of his reincarnation and unique hypnotic abilities. Kelvin's victory leaves him yearning for more challenging battles. His promotion to S rank excites him as he anticipates future battles with equally powerful adventurers.